morning, my Sunday school friends. How are you? So pleased to be with you. We have some great activities planned for today, so let's get started. First, Sunday school. It's my favorite slide. It is where we belong. We please be reminded that you are a child of God created in his image. I'm Miss Bev, and we've got Miss Chrissy in the house, who's going to be giving us a fantastic, we're going to leading us in a fantastic song today. So God is good all the time, and all the time, God loved the world so much, dot, dot, dot. And today's Sunday school lesson, we're going to find out what follows that dot, dot, dot. I want to thank Ms. Mr. John and Ms. Trish. They are in the house. Woo, woo, woo. We could not do what we do without Mr. John and Ms. Trish. So Mr. John and Ms. Trish, just a mwah. We love you. Thank you so much for your efforts in helping us bring this technology and being able to communicate with all of our Sunday school friends. We really do appreciate you. And you know what we do at St. Paul's Sunday School? We giggle. And I'm going to ask you to say it with me. There you go. God is good. Boop. God, God loves, loves everyone. everyone. Boop. I think we and should do that one more time. Now we're ready. Even without the transition. Okay, so everybody, nice and strong. Miss Chrissy and I, Mr. John, Miss Tris, Miss Jackie, and Miss Denise are also in the house sitting in the back of the sanctuary. Let's, let's hear everybody's energy. Ready? Everybody together. God, God is good. good. Boop! God, God loves everyone. everyone. Boop! I love those sound effects. I can't wait till everybody's together. Miss Chrissy, even if we're on a new theme, we're still going to continue those sound effects for a I while. Like, I like the sound effects. All right, we are now going to be having our opening <laughs> prayer. Okay. Prayer hands together. You know what to do. I want to hear, and I want to hear a big yay, God. Dear loving God, first, yay, yay God. God. Thank you for, for loving the world. world. Thank, Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to be saved. Today, we, we learn a powerful Bible verse. In 27 words, Jesus teaches us so much. We are saved because God loves us. God sent us Jesus to die for us. We will live forever in the kingdom. We know the kingdom of God is here. God, you are oh so good. Jesus is just joy. The Holy Spirit still rocks our world. And we say, giggle, God is good. Boop! God, God loves everyone. everyone. Boop! Amen. We got some speech bubbles. <coughs> Today, we learn a powerful Bible verse. Yes, we are going to be learning a powerful Bible verse in all of 27 words. It is John 3.16. And uh, there's a speech bubble. What is today's joke? I we know you've been waiting for it. I got, a, I got a bonus to today's joke. So, Miss Bev, they're using the um, caption, closed caption on the bottom of the screen. And every time we do giggle, we say, God is good boop. And it says, God is good poop. <laughs> <laughs> so the joke is on us today. I think God will appreciate our little bit of potty humor, and I hope that the kids at home do too. Okay, so first off, the joke's on us. And secondly, if you can't laugh at yourself, Miss Chrissy, <laughs> you have to be able to be able to laugh at yourself. So it's all good. All right, today's joke, and thank you for sharing that, Miss Chrissy. Today's joke. <laughs> It's a cartoon, if you will, and there's a whole bunch of people sitting around Jesus who is in the center, and you may recognize some of those people. So call out your favorite superhero. Do you love Batman, Superman, 
Wonder Woman's not up there. I need to superimpose Wonder Woman in that set. Thank you very much. And there is Spider-Man. He's dropping down off of the girder. And anyway, Jesus like, yeah, well, I saved the planet. How about you all? So I hope you enjoyed today's cartoon as our joke. We are now on our Bible verse from last week. It was from Exodus. It was chapter 20, verses 1 and 2. I threw in two verses into one Bible verse for that last week. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. Then blank spoke these words. I am the Lord your blank, who brought you out of blank, who brought you out of blank. Did you fill in those four words? I really, really hope you did, and I bet you did. All right, everybody together, here we go. Then God spoke, spoke these words. I, I am the Lord your, your God. Who brought you out of Egypt, who brought you out of slavery. And so God was talking to the Israelites during the time of Moses. And we're going to, it's really interesting that we had this particular Bible verse last week because this week Jesus in our Bible passage mentions Moses and something that Moses did. And we're going to talk about that. This week's Bible verse, da 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 da! It is John 3.16. It is 27 words. Mine is one because I shortened it just by one word for you. Um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him will not die but have everlasting eternal life. So, Miss Chrissy, Miss Chrissy, Miss Chrissy. Yes, Miss Beth. If I say, for God so loved the world, which mm -hmm. is what's the Bible passage, but supposing one of our Sunday school set friends says, for God so loved the earth. Oh, that would be fine. Would we have okay? lots of synonyms for your pictures. So God so loved the earth. He loved the world. He loved the whole globe. He loved the planet. He loved the planet. All right. And then on the second Jesus picture, it says, for whoever believes in him, supposing our Sunday school friends, supposing they insert Jesus in there. Is that okay? Oh, yes. Very good. Awesome. Oh, yes. And, and the, last, the last one, which is the infinity symbol, Supposing our Sunday school friends say eternal or everlasting, does it matter? As long as it means forever. And ever and ever and ever. And ever. Awesome. Okay, very good. So it is, it is 27 words, so we are going to be saying it all together before our blanks. When we hit our blanks, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Can you do it without looking at the screen? So everybody together, nice and strong. For, For God, God so, so loved, loved the world... world that, that he, he gave his only son, so that, that everyone, everyone who believes in him will not die, but have, have eternal life. life. All right. Da -dun -da -da. The blanks are coming your way. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of paper airplanes on the floor somewhere. For I love God it. God so loved the world that, that he, he gave, gave his, his only son, son so, so that, that everyone, everyone who believes in him will not die, but have everlasting life. life. Oh, did you hear what just had happened? Miss Chrissy said eternal. I said everlasting on purpose. And oh, we meant the same thing. Yay, God. Yay, God. <laughs> and the ceiling did not come crashing down. It is now offering time, and for our offering, we remind you, please send your coins and your money into the church because God's work just continues even though we are not here in the sanctuary worshiping together or having Sunday school in the parish hall. And also, please, be of service to others every day. Birthday time. Miss Chrissy, do we have any birthdays in the house today? I don't think so. I did not get any texts or updates or anything. So if we are, oh, wait, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. On this exact day, it's Sarah Powell's birthday. Sarah, Sarah Powell, Powell. Is birth her birthday is on Pi Day. Today is 314. So we do need to sing to Sarah. Okay, so hopefully so she's out there watching. And if not, when you see her at confirmation, I it will. is her birthday today. And uh, Miss Chrissy, I'm going to ask all of our Sunday friends to imagine Sarah Powell's picture right there on the screen. Yes. Okay. We'll, we'll put a shout out in next week as well. All right, here we go. Sing with me, please. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday to you. Jesus loves you, and, and we do too. And now it is song time. You know what I always say. Chrissy sings all the time. 
And all the time we sing with Miss Chrissy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's craziness. Isn't that awesome? Okay. Um, so we're going to do a fan favorite um, that everyone knows from age three to nine, uh, 99. I don't know. Everybody's going to love this one. We, we're going to sing Jesus Loves Me because Jesus loves me and God gave his son for us so that we can feel his love. Um, I wanted something that reminded us of Jesus today since all the Bible verse was focused around um, around that. Miss Chrissy. Yes. You don't know this, so I just want to insert this very quickly. Mm -hmm. Part of our activity today is going to focus on just how much God loves us. Like God loves you, and God loves me, and God loves the, the homeless man on the corner, and even the teacher that hollered at me yesterday on Zoom or Google Meet Classroom. Ooh oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. So Thank you for sharing that. So it's perfect timing. Great song for today. I'm going to actually move my stand a little bit so I can have hand motions. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Thank you, everybody. And now we are going to be having our activity. So our Bible passage this week, it's John chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. Verse 16, got as close as we could to Pi Day. 314, we're all doing 316. Oh, oh, nice, cool. nice. <laughs> we got as close as we could. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to read the Bible passage first. Um, please be listening for when I hit the Bible passage at John 3.16. Jesus is talking to Nicodemus, and Nicodemus was a, was a Pharisee. He was one of the leaders in the Jewish temple. And he was having a hard time because he had always believed that the Son of God was going to come maybe on a chariot, maybe with raging fire and just lots of grandeur. And instead, he's starting to understand that, gee, Maybe the Son of God was born in a manger, in a stable? How is that possible? That's not chariots. And that's not grandeur. And so he's trying to be loyal to all the people in the temple, and he's still trying to learn at the same time. So he comes to see Jesus in the middle of the night. There's nobody else around. Nobody's going to know. There are no cameras, and there are no iPhones or galaxies to take pictures of him doing this. And so he goes and he talks to Jesus in the middle of the night. And he's like, Jesus, please help me try to understand. And he doesn't truly understand, but Jesus does his best. And this is some of the things that he says. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, which Nicodemus fully knew because that was the Old Testament, and they, all of the Jewish people, the Israelites, believed in what Moses had done for the people, taking them out of Israel across the desert to the promised land. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in, serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Here's 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not die, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world. And people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do not but those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen their deeds have been done in God's name. And so what Jesus is trying to tell Nicodemus is he's like, hey, the son of man is going to be lifted up. And at that time, I am the light of the world. So all of the people who are doing all of their evil deeds and their things that are not very nice, they stay in the darkness. But when you serve God and you do things in the light, you are part of the light. And Jesus was teaching that very important lesson to, to Nicodemus. 
And then he was going to take that. He was had hopeful. He was hopeful that Nicodemus would take that message and that teaching back and share it with the other Pharisees of the Sanhedrin. Martin Luther called this passage, he said, you know, this is a passage, it's like the gospel in miniature. In other words, this passage, 316, 27 words, is everything you need to know about the gospel in 27 words. God loved the world so much. I'm sending Jesus to save you. And if you believe, you will be saved and you will live, live eternally with Jesus. How's that for the entire gospel in 27 words? So let's look at it another way. During ch Children of God time today, during worship, we looked at like little miniature things with all of its details. But I'm going to look at it another way during Sunday school today. So I'd like you to think of the phrase, it's the gospel in a nutshell, or something is in a nutshell. And if you've ever heard, from my Sunday school friends, if you've ever heard an adult or your parent or your grandparent or Nana say, well, it's everything in a nutshell, here it is. Basically what they're saying is, Think of a nut, it's got a walnut. See these walnuts? The entire nut is contained in its shell. So these are walnuts. The entire nut is contained in its shell. I don't know if you can hear that rattle or not. I can hear it rattling inside my head. Nuts look like this. If I were to break this shell open, I'm going to find two walnut halves. Okay, so we we go from this walnut in the shell to being able to see all of the details in the walnut. The walnut is inside the shell, so the shell contains everything it needs. Here's your almond shell. And here's your almond. If I were to crack it open, this is what you get. You got this peanut shell, and you get, you know what peanuts are. You get these peanuts, you get two of these out of the shell. So the shells contain everything it needs. All of its detail of the nut is inside that shell. And so that's what we, when we talk about something being in a nutshell, how important it is. Now, let's take a look at this passage. Ms. Trisha, I'm going to ask you to advance this, please. We've been working on John 3, verses 14 to 21. Advance this again, please. So, for everyone, the passage is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life. That's for everyone. In a nutshell, that's the gospel for everyone. But Miss Chrissy, yes. I'm going to pose that we flip that idea, mm -hmm. and we're going to take it to the people that we love. So I want you to think of someone that you love. Might be one of your children, both of your children. Might be your mom or your dad. Maybe it's your best friend. I gotta love best friends. Mm -hmm. And now, instead of saying the Bible verse like we know it, like we learned it, just a few slides back, like it's in the Bible. But instead, we're going to insert the person's name. So the first person's name, instead of saying, for God so loved the world, Miss Chrissy, give me someone that you love. We're, we're going to pick the birthday girl. We're going to put Sarah's awesome. name in there. For God so loved Sarah. Sarah that he gave his only son so that if Sarah, Sarah believes, believes in him, Sarah, Sarah may not die, die but, but have eternal life. life. And Miss Chrissy, I just got this chill down my spine when I was saying that. It's when really I was cool. Saying Sarah's name, like I got so excited for Sarah. Yeah, like truly, and it's her birthday today. So, my Sunday school friends, young and old, I really and truly want you to pick someone that you absolutely love. I'm going to ask you, going to put your trust. I'm going to trust you that you're going to say this verse right now out loud with that person's name. And please, in the chat, if you could have your parent. Or if you could put who you're praying for in the chat box. This is for the people you love. Do 
want to say it again? Uh, like, well, read it with them at home. Yeah. Now, Miss Chrissy, did we? Did anybody put anybody's name in the in the uh, chat in the chat yet? I have not seen anybody in the chat. I'm also wondering, though. I can't juggle YouTube and Facebook, right. so there might be some out there on YouTube. Okay. okay. We might not be live on YouTube. We'll have to double check that. Okay. Well, while we're while we're waiting for maybe some of your names to come through on the chat for people you love, we're going to go to the next slide because Miss Chrissy, we're not finished. You know what? What I could tell you who's online right now. We have Miss Bev or Miss Bev. Your name was brought up. Awesome. So we have Miss Bev, but also Mr. Ken, Natalie, and Miss Connie are well online. And oh, and Miss Natalie just chimed in. So here's the delay. Kurt and Carl are coming in there. Miss Jackie, so we've got lots of names in awesome. there now. Okay, so um, we're ready. How about Miss Natalie? Since Miss Natalie was the first person, one of the first people you saw, how about we pick Kurt and Carl in there? Okay. So let's say it with Kurt and Carl's name, everybody together. For, For God, God so, so loved Kurt, Kurt and Carl, Carl that he gave his, his only son, so, so that, that if Kurt and Carl believe, believe in him, Kurt, Kurt and Carl, Carl may not die, but, but have eternal, eternal life. life. Help out that. Oh. Kurt and Carl, we prayed for you today. Oh, and we got shout outs for, for Ken and Kimba and more Nana and Connie. So we have lots of people chiming in now. So I, I'm I, sure so that they've said this verse many times. Awesome. And I just I can just feel those goosebumps going down my spine. Like I am so excited for this lesson today. Miss Trish, whenever you're ready, would you please take us to the next slide? Because it gets even better. All right. How about for the person you don't know? Or maybe the person you don't know very well and would like to get to know better? might be that kid in your class who's kind of quiet and shy and you really kind of want to go up and be friends with them, but maybe it's, you don't think it's so cool because the other kids aren't going up and talking to them. Maybe it's the kid you pass. Maybe it's the guy you pass on the corner on your way into work. Maybe it's somebody who's real, you're really friendly with, like when you go into the grocery store and you always see that man behind the counter or the woman behind the counter. Or maybe it's the person at the Wawa. So please pick someone that you don't know very well, but you would like to get to know better. Or maybe just someone that you see all the time and you say, no, I could pray for that person. And I want you to say it out loud, because that's really important, with that person's name. Or if you don't know the person's name, the man, in, the man at the grocery store, the custodian at school, my bus driver, And if you would, please throw those people or their names, if you know them, into the chat. Really powerful. Ms. Chrissy, since, since we're waiting for people to put names in the chat and say their prayers mm -hmm. for people that they want to get to know better, maybe they don't know very well, I have to pray for more Nana. More Nana is, and Marie at the same time, because we have some friends here in Sunday school who just deserve our praise for, for all of their wisdom and longevity of life. And more pop-up. And more pop-up, too. Okay, so we're going to do more, more Nana, more pop-up, and Miss Marie. All right? For God, God so, so loved, loved more, more Nana, Nana, more pop-up, pop -up and, and Marie. Marie. That, that he, he gave, gave his, his only son, son so, so that, that more Nana, more Pop-Up, Pop -up and Miss Marie believes in him, him and they, <laughs> they, there you go, may, may not, not die, die but, have but have eternal life. life. And Miss Trish, how about taking us to the next slide? And now for the person who is not your favorite. That person who deserves your prayers, even though they may not give you the time of day or be your most favorite person. Perhaps you might not, e I might even go so far as to say you might not even like them. But still, God loves everyone and everyone is a child of God. So when you pick that person who is not your favorite, maybe it's that kid who teased you at school. Maybe it's that kid who ignored you when you tried to be nice to him and didn't want to be bothered with you. Maybe it's that person that you tried to be nice to and then they didn't show you the same grace back the next time you needed help. So the idea here is that even when you throw that person's name into this verse, you still get goosebumps down your spine. You know, Miss Because it's Beth, that powerful. Sometimes I get uncomfortable when I think about not having nice feelings about somebody and I know they need my prayers. 
So I might be a little embarrassed to say that name out loud even. Um, so we're definitely maybe not ch type it in the chat. If I was right. so brave, that would be awesome because other people could help me pray for them. But I might not be ready for that. Right. So I think when we read this one, could we just leave a space and we'll let, we'll let everyone be able to say that name at home or just in their hearts because I know that God would know. Absolutely. I Miss mean, Christy, the other thing, too, is because of the way all the names are coming in on the chat, if I'm praying for someone, po quite possibly you wouldn't know which verse or which slide that they were really going for. True. So true. Just, just as another thought on that. But absolutely, there are times like when, we, when there's somebody that's just not my favorite person, it's really hard for me to go up and say, hey, you're not my favorite person, but I am praying for you. And so please know that that's what God calls us to do. God calls us to change our hearts and so that we, too, can be better people and be brought into the light. And finally, our last slide. This is for yourself. We're going to, when we read this slide, you're going to use me instead of the world, and you're going to put I instead of a person's name. And feel how it is that God loves you so much that he sent his son to die for you and that you are saved. Why? You are a child of God. There is nothing that you can do to return this favor, this grace and favor from God. God gives it to us freely, and Jesus did too. So everybody together, nice and strong, this is where you're going to really feel, feel this power of this verse. Here we go. For God, God so loved, loved me... That he gave his only son, so that if I believe in him, I will not die, but have eternal life. Woohoo! How powerful is that, Miss Chrissy? That's awesome. When you can put yourself Very in cool. that verse, you really want to feel that power of God. And now we are ready for our closing prayer. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Have your prayer hands ready. Dear God, thank you so much for bringing us here into the church and being able to have a wonderful lesson by Miss Bev where we have our visuals and things that we can think about all week long. Lord, thank you for John 3.16 so that I can put my name in there and I know that you sent your son for me. Thank you that I can put others' names in there so that I remember that other people are just as important as I am. Lord, give us strength today. Keep us healthy. Help us to go out this week and spread your love to others. All this we pray in your name. Amen. And, and yay, God!